It is repetition which makes for perfection. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and today we will draw... That's right, Superman! But first I want to say thank you for VCA for having me on their channel. It's a really cool channel, it's all about comic book drawings. I know. So, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. But now let's get a decent piece of paper. Okay guys, we got all we need. Paper, pencil, eraser, water. That'll do. Okay, but before we start the sketch, please also check out my channel. It's called Dr. Rocker Art. It's all about comic book drawings. And if you like this video, you will like my other stuff. Yeah! But now, let's draw! To infinity and beyond! Okay guys, I'm done with the sketch. And since I get that asked a lot, I use Strathmore Bristol Paper, the 200 series. Yes, that's the one David Finch uses. And on my weird pencil right here, I used a 2H lead. The 2H lead is very light, which can be a bit hard to see at times, but you will be able to produce a very, very clean sketch. Wait, what? So that's the secret? So all the time I smudged the paper, it was just a wrong lead? So, for the next step, I will use my 0.1 fine liner from Micron. I will basically trace almost all of those pencil lines, and then I will use my beloved brush pen. I love that thing. I love you. And with this one, I will do all the strong blacks. And I will try not to overdo them, because sometimes I tend to do that. So, let's draw! Okay, my friends, we are done with those strong blacks. Which brings us right to the next step, line weight. And for that, I will use my Tombow Fudensuke <laughs> or something like that. Pen. The hard one, the blue one. So, let's do some lines. You can stylize your drawing quite a bit when doing the line weight, but one rule is very important for all the styles. The light source is coming from this direction, the main light source. So, you need to go a little bit thicker and go thinner towards the light. That's very important. At least with most of the lines. If you have enough brush control, you can go quite slowly. But you can also use a technique that's more like that. Also quite nice. It's a more jagged look. 
but whatever you like. And what I like is if sometimes, like here, when you do quite a thick line and go quite thin like that, that's a nice look. Mixes it up a bit. And there we have our finished lines. So what we need to do now is to bring this drawing to life with all the rendering. It's alive! It's alive! But this I will do tomorrow because it's way too late and I need to go to bed. So see you tomorrow morning! Good morning guys! I'm well rested, I had breakfast, and now it's time to finish this drawing. It's time. For the hatching I will use my Tombow pen and a very fine fine liner from Micron. It's a 005 for all those really small details. What a great drawing this will be. You're saying it weird. Saying what weird? <laughs> I'm so funny. You can call me Joker. No! God, please, no! No! Okay, but seriously, now let's start drawing again. So, when cross-hatching, you can do this for preparation. You make two dots and then you try to connect them. Looking pretty good. I feel the need, the need for speed. <laughs> I'm done with my Superman. I really loved drawing Superman. He was the first superhero I got to know when I was a kid. And to me, he's not just an icon, he's just like... A friend. I hope you had fun watching me drawing him. And as I said before... I said it before and I'll say it again. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also to mine, Dr. Rocker Art. But now I will give you a proper reveal. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye.